First Valentine card in 1913. <laughs> Expectations for its celebration of romance have grown. Leading singles to call the holiday SAD sad for Singles Awareness Day. <laughs> well, that makes me sad right there. I know. Yeah. Whether you are happily coupled, single, or neither, life coach Reba Riley is here today to discuss how to make the most of Valentine's Day tomorrow. Welcome, Hi, Reba. Reba. Hi, guys. Happy Valentine's Happy Day. Happy Valentine's so Day. We're, we're in yeah, our colors. We're in our colors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So for some people, tomorrow will be really happy, and for some people, it'll be just yeah, another day, and some people, it'll make them really sad. I remember crying one Valentine's Day. Oh, oh more than I know. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. More than one. I mean, have we yeah. all had those? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe not Bob, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. But you say you have to first learn to love yourself yeah, before you okay. worry about all this other Absolutely. stuff, right? Okay, so um, point one, self-love is a superpower. Now this is true every day, but especially on Valentine's Day, <laughs> because we get super focused on how our value is determined by other people as mm. opposed to how it's valued by ourselves. And so if you think about Superman, no one could tell him that he was Superman, that came like totally right. from the inside. Right. And so we have to give that to ourselves before we can give it to anybody else or before we can really receive it. It's always an inside job. And love is always an inside job. And you, you say we can actually practice self-love. Oh yeah. How, how? Okay, so you know how Superman had to stay away from kryptonite? Yeah. Okay, we need to stay away from energy vampires and all the people, places, <laughs> and things that drain us of um, the positivity in our life. So should okay. we stay away from social media tomorrow then? If <laughs> that is on the list. There will always be someone else dripping with diamonds with a house full of roses. <laughs> You're not like, no matter how great your life is, there's always going to be right. somebody else on Instagram yeah. that's uh, better. So yeah, if you're susceptible to that, I'd say definitely stay away from social media. But communication, it's key to any relationship, but it's really key when you're talking about Valentine's Day or, or other holidays, right? Yeah. In your relationships. Right, especially in a new relationship. So great story. My husband and I have been together now for 13 years, but our first Valentine's Day, we did not discuss uh, what was going to happen, and I was expecting the whole nine yards. It had been nine months, so, you know, cards and flowers and whatever. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. No Sorry. gift, no card, no? No, it was 10 p.m., and I was in tears. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's probably watching now like, oh, my gosh. Okay, Poor but Brett. here is what he gave me <laughs> later. Once he realized I cried, he gave me a paper flower. I'm not even joking. Yeah. Like, this is what he did. He made and one. He did. He made me a flower. That's sweet. So he was a keeper. Um, but if you have unrealistic expectations or you don't know what they are, it's yours may not turn out well. Or even if you have a realistic one, you just need to let them you know. You just yeah. need to let them know. Especially guys, you gotta let them know. Yeah, yeah, yeah guys, <laughs> right? Valentine's Day is tomorrow. <laughs> okay. And I know. Oh. What? <laughs> Comparison yeah. is the thief of joy. It always is, yeah. especially social media. Yeah. And um, <laughs> <laughs> don't compare yourself to Bob. Right. Right. I learned that a long time ago. <laughs> uh, turn your focus inside out. Yeah. Yes. What's okay. That mean? So regardless of whether you are single, coupled, or neither, you want to go ahead and turn your focus inside out tomorrow because, frankly, Valentine's Day is about love. This is a celebration of love in all of its forms. We never know what our opportunity is going to be to tell someone else we love them. And so we just go ahead and do that. You know, pick up the phone, call somebody you haven't in a while. Celebrate love, period. Yeah, whether, whether it's mom or a friend mom, or a yeah. friend. Or anybody. What about doing like a random act of kindness, like buying somebody's coffee tomorrow? Yeah. It, you know, maybe do yeah. something that, because that always makes you feel good. Well, too. you know, I'm a kindness crusader. Well, yeah, right. I know so, that's what I remember. Yes. Yeah. That that always will help you overcome negative feelings and especially on Valentine's Day somebody might really be having a bad day yeah. I mean, they, made it, they might have lost someone recently right. you never know so reach out with kindness and the best way to get out of negativity is to get out of your own head mm. put yourself in someone else's shoes and do something kind. I love it. Yeah. Thank you, Reba. Hi. Happy good. Valentine's Day, Happy guys. Valentine's yeah. Day. And, and we have uh, Reba's information on local12.com I believe yes. so if you want to reach out to her for some life coaching or any other yeah. advice. Yeah. Brand